I'm building a two trailer tiny house. It's time for a build update. I'm still waiting on more adhesive to arrive, so I thought it's a great chance to grab a coffee and have a look at how I stuck the glass onto these windows. Let's check them out. So coming up with an adhesive system for these windows turned out to be kind of challenging. And there's a couple reasons for that. The first was how I was sticking the glass to the windows. I really wanted to use natural hardwood for my windows, but I didn't want them exposed to the elements. I just didn't want the hassle of having to maintain timber on the outside of my house. That meant sticking the glass on the outside of the uh, timber and means that the glass is unsupported. Now that's a problem because it meant that I ended up with this unsupported lap shear joint where the adhesives is the only thing holding the glass on. So critical that somehow I can make sure that this adhesive is going to be strong enough to hold the glass on. Second, because the glass is going onto the face of the, my window frame, the adhesive ends up being exposed to UV through the glass. So UV directly hitting the back of the adhesive, which creates problems with degrading the adhesive. So what I was going to use was a high strength polyurethane sealant, and that's what they use on car windscreens. The problem with that is it turns out that stuff is not UV stable. Now on car windscreens, they don't have this problem because they have a black band of baked on ceramic on the windscreen, which forms two tasks. First of all, it's aesthetic, so it hides all the adhesive, but also stops UV getting through the adhesive and breaking it down. Now, in my case, getting ceramic baked onto my glass was just out of the question. I don't even know where to get that done, never mind pay for it. Um, so what I was going to do was to paint on a band of black primer around the edge of the glass. That would give me my nice sharp line around the glass and also an added adhesion onto my polyurethane. The problem is, when I was talking to Seeker, who I end up using for my adhesives, they said the primers are organic will also break down. So while they would hold for quite some time, within about 10 years, I might be looking at redoing it, which I really didn't want to do. And then when I dug a bit deeper, turns out sticking to brass, which I've gone and put on all of my pieces of timber, was a problem. In fact, it would react with the polyurethanes I was looking to use. So I talked to Seeker about what we could use and I ended up recommending a product called Sikasil SG20, which is a structural glazing silicon. It has really high mechanical strength and uh, awesome elongation strength, which is perfect for what I need because I need to hold a piece of glass up unsupported and be able to absorb some movement as this thing is traveling down the road. It's UV stable, st sticks directly to glass, and with the right primer, I could stick it onto the brass. So it's perfect. Problem I then had was how do I form my black band around the edge of the glass? Now, the adhesive is UV stable, so I could use that, but it's adhesive, so it's difficult to be able to apply onto the glass and get a nice sharp line. Uh, the other option was there was talk of a two pack I could put onto the back of the glass. Now, there, there was mixed answers about two packs, whether or not they'll stand up to UV. Apparently there is one, I think they use for glass splashbacks, that I could have painted a black band on the edge of these windows and uh, would be UV resistant and block UV getting through the adhesive. So I could have used my polyurethane if I wanted to, um, but also give me a nice sharp line. Now I never actually found the name of that stuff, so I didn't go with it. Instead, I ended up using the SG20 to form my band and I'll show you how I did that in a moment. So let's have a look at the bonding process that I've used to stick the glass onto my windows. Here we have a cross section of my windows. I've got the Victorian ash here that I machined up. I've got the brass angle capping the piece of timber. And on the back here, I've got my Colourbond weather strips that I've adhered onto the back of my window. The first step was to tape up the brass that I polished on the inside of my windows. I then had to prep the brass ready to start the bonding process. I've sanded back all my brass, which helps get rid of any oxidization and uh, impurities that are on the brass. I then washed it all with acetone. That gets rid of any sanding dust, any oil from my fingers, or anything else that may have gone onto the surface. So I should have a good clean surface. The sanding also helps key the surface to give a better bonding surface for the adhesive. The first step in the bonding process was to hit it with Sika Activator 205. Now that's basically an alcohol-based cleaner, which makes all the surfaces completely clear of impurities, but also has some additives in it that helps it, that aids adhesion to the surface. I applied that, cleaned the surface, and let that flash off for about 10 minutes. Next, I primed the brass using Sika Primer 210. And this stuff here was key to getting the adhesive to bond onto a non-ferrous metal. I used a woolen swab to wipe the primer onto the brass and had to work my way around the window. This stuff starts setting almost instantly, so you have to get the coverage about right as you're moving around because you can't really go back and touch it up. 
I then need to wait for that stuff to flash off and depending on the temperature is about 30 minutes. That means it's no longer tacky and it's ready to receive the adhesive. I always then have a maximum working time with this stuff, about 24 hours. If I don't get the adhesive on in that time, I need to reprime. Once the primer was flashed off, I then applied a glazing tape along the inside edge of my brass here. And that provided two benefits. The first was that it gives me a nice, neat, compressed foam edge between the brass and my window on the inside, so I don't have a messy adhesive line that I need to deal with. The second was when I had my glazing tape on the inside here, when the adhesive was compressed, instead of pushing inside and going in all kinds of directions, it pushed out to where I was going to tool it off against the outside of the window. So with the glazing tape on, the window frames are now ready to run a bead of adhesive. But before that, I had to prep my glass. So we talked about I need to get a nice sharp line around the edge of my glass to hide that bit of adhesive. So what I did was tape up the glass and then with a Stanley knife and ruler, run around the edge of my glass, scoring my tape, but it gave me an even taping all the way around the edge of my glass. Once I'd done that, I taped up the edge of the glass to stop any adhesive getting on the face of the glass, which made it much easier to work with as I was tooling it off. So now I'm ready to run the adhesive and bond the glass onto the window frame. So the first thing is to run the bead of adhesive around my window frame. But before I do that, there's something important about how I've cut the tip of my adhesive gun. You can see there's a V groove in the end of the tip, which allows me to run a bead at a consistent height. So the first part is to run the bead of adhesive onto my window frame. Get the gun with the wedge facing out and hold it at right angles and run a bead of adhesive. The next step is to run my band of adhesive around the window. So by running a smear of adhesive onto this window, I then use my spatula to smear the adhesive creating an even film of adhesive on the glass. Then when I remove the tape, which if you're watching me on Instagram, I forgot to remove the tape multiple times and ended up putting adhesive on this glazing tape. It was an absolute nightmare. I'm not gonna go into that right now. But you can see with the tape removed, I get a nice sharp line of an adhesive that gives me that black band around the glass. Now I get the glass and I have to set it onto the frame. Where it sits down, I line up the edges, setting the glass down onto the frame, and then press it down, which presses out that bed of adhesive, leveling it out, giving me an even consistent bed of adhesive. Now it's important that I don't want to push down too much here because I actually want a bit of thickness in my bed. So on the back edge, it squeezes out the excess adhesive. I get my spatula and tool it off. Then I remove the tape, I get a nice edge along the back. Now with the glass that adhered on, I get a completely waterproof seal on the outside. On the inside, I get a nice sharp edge between that brass and glass with that compressed foam, and I don't have any adhesive squeezing onto the inside. We take off the tape. I get a nice smooth line inside. Last thing we'll have a look at is condensation. Now, unlike other windows with an aluminium frame where you can build in a channel and drain holes, I don't have that on mine. And I really don't want water pooling on top of my brass and timber. So what I've done is built that into how I've stuck the glass onto my window frames. On the bottom of the window, I've actually set my glazing tape back in three mils from the edge of the brass, whereas on all other sides it's level. What that does is gives me a channel at the bottom of the window where water from condensation can collect. When I've adhered the glass onto the window frame, I've actually cut notches into the glazing tape and then made up these small nylon forms that I insert into the adhesive. So what I do is I include them in the adhesive 
And once the adhesive is cured, I can pull these out. They don't stick to the adhesive because they're nylon. And that leaves a nice rectangle hole through my adhesive. Then once I've pulled them out, and I've got my glass on, I just get my small scribe tool and I can remove my piece of glazing tape, leaving a hole through my glazing tape that leads into the hole in my adhesive. And now, when water condenses on this glass, it runs down into that channel, to that foam, that's a closed cell foam, and it can run along that channel down through the holes that I've put through my adhesive. That then runs to the outside of the window, where the water that comes through that hole can run down onto a flashing that directs it away from the house. So the burning question is, will this adhesive be strong enough to hold the glass onto these windows? And I have to be honest, I didn't know. I, as I've been designing these windows, I was pretty confident it was gonna hold, but I had no evidence to support that. So by chance, I ended up on the phone with an engineer from Seeker who was able to give me some information, at least in layman's terms, of how that calculation is done. And in general, it's kind of adhesive ha adhesives had a strength rating measured in millipascals. You convert that to newtons. You can, using the weight of the glass and the force of gravity, you can work at how many newtons have been applied. And then based on the surface area of the adhesive, you can kind of work out how much weight the adhesive could hold. Interestingly, with a safety factor of 10 on my frameless corner window, which has my heaviest piece of glass and the least amount of adhesive, it can hold 10 times the weight of the glass. Then on a big window like this here, and a safety factor of 10, it can hold maybe 15 to 20 times the weight of the glass, which actually gives me a level of comfort that I'm not completely off the mark and this adhesive can actually hold these pieces of glass on as I bounce down the road. So that's the windows. I am so close to having these things finished. I can't say how happy I'm about that. I severely underestimated just how much work it was gonna to be to make these things. So I'm just waiting on some more adhesive and I've got two more pieces of glass to set. Once they're set, I've just gotta wait for the adhesive to cure for a little bit and then I can put them into the house, which I cannot tell you how excited I am to do because the poor thing has been sitting out there for weeks on end and hasn't changed. So to put these windows in there is gonna be a huge transformation for the house and actually mean it's gonna start taking shape. So hopefully in the next coming weeks, I'm gonna be able to start to put windows in. You guys know the drill, don't hate, educate. Comment down below if you see something in this video that can be improved. If you have any questions about the adhesives or the bonding process, please ask down below and I'll respond to you if I can. In the meantime, go build cool stuff. I have heaps of work to do because I need to get moving with that house and I'll see you guys soon.